There is the recent Game Informer article that Ian Flynn wrote, and there's a few things I would like to actually talk about at the moment. You see, the first one involves his description as to why Tingle was created. And interestingly enough, it for some reason contradicts something else he says in the article. The first one being that he said that, that he's only going to draw inspirations from the games. But you know, the problem with that is that Tangle isn't from the games. She's a completely original character. So if you're only going to draw ideas from the games, you've already <laughs> broken that promise. And uh, two, he said the reasons for creating Tangle was also that... Amy wasn't able to, f no one was able to fill in that gap. Not Amy, not Blaze. Even though Blaze appears later on and he gives his reasoning as to why he didn't just make Blaze the female companion is because he said it had, it had something to do with the being a, having to use a Deus Ex Machina in order to achieve that. However, I consider that to be bullshit because Blaze appears later down the line. She appears in one of the covers for the comic. I don't care what you say. That's not how that works. And furthermore, you can't complain about Deus Ex Machinas, since that's practically all you've done in the in your writing. <laughs> you rely Ian relies almost because Ian relies almost solely on Deus Ex Machinas, and that I think is a very big problem. But he says that he doesn't want to use a deus ex machina, but then proceeds to create a deus ex machina by his logic. Although, say what you will about that. As for Tangle's abilities, they don't really seem too interesting. Um, I guess he wanted to create a character that could go into a game, although there's not really much you could do with that. I mean, sure, she could potentially be in a game. Yeah, just this paragraph right here. Uh, although you could honestly say that we already have Blaze, and... You could even say that, well, we should have had Sally, and I would actually agree to a certain point. However, we have to remember, though, is that this is being written by Ian Flynn, a man who is so incompetent that he drove the comic from being the longest-running comic book series based on a video game into... dead. So don't, uh... Don't ever expect anything out of this man. Yeah, you didn't convert me to be a Sonic fan. I think that honor honestly goes to Chris Sen and his work on Sonic Extreme. It's Chris Sen, you know, he's a... <laughs> I think he's a, somewhat of an underrated game developer. But, um, no, you didn't do that. In fact, after the whole reboot thing, you pretty much drove away a good portion of the longtime fans. And furthermore, Sega hired you to write a new comic, Ian. But... For some bizarre reason, you have decided to just go off of what they've already written. Even though you were hired because people liked what you did in the pre-reboot and in the reboot of the Archie Sonic series. And if you're not going to create anything new... That's not doing your job. Because I used to work at a 
yeah, I used to work in an autism place. Just worked with kids and stuff like that. Of course, I had to. That wasn't my job, but I had to sort files. And Ian's excuse for saying, oh, well, I don't need to follow the game continuity because... Or I don't need to uh, use anything from any other form of medium because that's not representative of the product. Is kind of like saying, well, I don't need to file these papers into the correct order because they're perfect the way they are. And that's how that's that's how dumb that kind of logic is. It's not clever. It's just it's dumb. I'm gonna say that right now. That's dumb. You have no excuse to say that. That is your, your that is your job to write something new and to expand upon and bring new ideas into the table. And if you're that lazy, you really shouldn't have been hired to begin with. And I specifically like how he talks about how I used to own a Sega Genesis. Well, a lot of people own the Sega Genesis. And he even quotes the Genesis does what Nintendo don't right here. Again, he's trying to appeal to the hardcore ultra fan to make himself seem like an ultra fan. Even though that's not an actual thing, per se. Because with fandoms, it's very weird. I mean, if you're a fan of something, you like it. But I don't think you can really say that there's an actual form of a super fan. There's someone who's really invested in something, but that a super fan is just some kind of bizarre buzzword that that was made up by a few media outlets to say good things about some people in the industry. And then he goes through the whole brand new thing, even though he's not doing a whole lot of things that are new. And even Tangler herself is not a new thing. It's just she's a bunch of ideas rebranded into stuff that's new using the most generic lemur of all time. I mean, why can't we have an eye eye? I mean, eye eyes are cool. And they have long tails. Why does no one love the poor little eye eye? But Tang, yeah, Tangle herself is not an original character. She takes a few influences from Sally, both pre and post reboot, all the bad things at least, as far as I can tell, and a few things from Tails in the sense that she uses her tail for to attack things. It's not, it's not very interesting, really. And quite honestly, you could have very easily used the same abilities of grabbing onto things with the tail. And just replace that with Big the Cat. Alright? You, you could have just done that. And uh, this picture, I think, is kind of indicative of what some of Ian's plans are, and I get the feeling he's a lot like, it's kind of like Ian is True Love Hearts 94, because he seems to be obsessed with bringing Son Amy to the Sonic canon, <laughs> despite being stated clearly that Sonic does not love Amy as a girlfriend, he loves her as a friend. And yes, you can love someone and they you can still be friends. I mean, we all know Sonic and Sally both have an attraction for each other. Ironically, it could only work in the Archie series, but I'm, I'm getting off topic. Some more obscure things. I'm going to need to go through this and just reread. Yeah. Let's make sure this doesn't happen.
because that would just be a complete nightmare. And furthermore, if you're just going to keep reusing things, why not just bring back Scratch and Grounder? I mean, Scratch... I mean, it honest, As much as I love Sally Acorn's character, again, it would make more sense to bring Scratch and Grounder back. I'm serious. Why, why, can't, why can't they at least return? Who, who gives a shit about Warbot and Cuba? It's, it's all about Scratch and Grounder. But hey, this is just the kind of guy we're talking about. I mean, if he can't keep the stories connected in the same storyline, why should I expect anything more from him? This it, It's honestly insane. I was going to say something. Oh, yes. Now, his line about Blaze, I think, is kind of dumb. Even Amy, I think, is kind of dumb. Alright, look. Amy, Blaze, and Sally are very much ripe to be put into a game. You could make a game starring these three characters, and it would work very well. Ian doesn't seem to think so. <laughs> Even Amy, for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. But that is where we are at. I mean, he's already lied. He's not going to do his job. He's not... He's probably spat on the cannon several times, and... Dear God, this is going to be a mess. I mean, you've already lost a good chunk of the old fan base, and furthermore, I I I just like to say this is that the reason as to why the comics did very well is that they were different from many other comics. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I haven't read all of them. I'm still fairly much a noob to these things. However, the mm, uh, <sighs> He tried to make it as representative as the prod, as he said, but the problem with that is that most of the people who play the games don't read the comics. For the same reasons that they play the game, if that makes any sense. The problem here is that you read the comics for their storyline, and you play the games for their gameplay. Now, if you bring the storyline of the comics into the same vein as the games, or make it the same as the games, then that doesn't work as well, because the, the games and their stories are designed with gameplay in mind. Especially when you decide to take something like Sonic Unleashed, and then you proceed to just make it again five years after the fact. Seriously, what what the hell was he thinking with that? I mean, if we get a retread of the games, it, it, what 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 the hell is going to keep this thing afloat? The only thing that's that's going to actually save this damn comic for a or at least put it back on life support. This this thing, put this Frankenstein monster back up and running for a few seconds might be if Ian reveals Tangle was a lesbian, which I don't put past him. After all, he drilled a hole in Sally's head and fucked up Nicole's c coding and turned them into boring, unlikable generic lesbians. I can't get over that, but again, that's like making Smithers gay. And if he pulls the same kind of stunts in IDW that he did with Archie, say goodbye. Say, say say great good riddance, because honestly, I hope this comic burns, because I'm sick of dealing with Ian Flynn and his nonsense. I'm sick of dealing with him, and what's worse is that it doesn't seem like any of the previous ri other writers are going to come back. 
at least not as writers. I mean, Evan Stanley is coming back, but why couldn't she be the one writing these things? I mean, I'd rather see what she has to take on the Sonic Forces storyline. I'd rather see that, because after reading a bunch of broken, nonsensical comics, I just want someone who's competent. Unfortunately, Ian does not do that, and he's constantly saying, fuck you, to the fans, almost non-stop with many of his storylines. He just throws these things away, if if he comes up with a good storyline. He throws it away, and says, screw it. <laughs> and if the fans disagree with him, he says, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you too! 